so welcome all in this section we will uh, solve some problems so on degree of freedom of mechanism so let us see the first problem so here you can see we have uh, a mechanism here so we have two fixer links that means a link uh, fix both the fixer link is named as one i already told you if there are all the fixer links are considered as only one link so we have a fixer link then we have the link number two we have the link number three and we have the link number four so we have four links so now we have to one and one of the link is fixer that is this particular link number one is fixer so that, that, that means it is a mechanism it is used for transferring some motion so now let us see how many number of links how many number of pairs are there so in order to determine the mobility or degree of freedom of this mechanism we are using cush by criterion we studied in the last class that is f equal to 3n minus 1 minus 2p minus h where n is the number of links p is the number of pairs or joints and h is the number of higher pairs p means number of lower pairs and h means number of higher pairs so let, let us see one by one so here there are how many links so we have one link that is kept as one fixer link is kept as one then we have second link here we have third link here and we have fourth link here so we have four links that is n is written as four now we have to identify how many pairs or lower pairs are there or how many hinges are there so that means how many lower pairs are there here there is one pair that is link 1 and 4 is connected at this particular point that is one pair or one joint then link 1 and 2 is connected at this point that is another pair then again link 3 and 4 is connected here that is another pair then again we can see link 2 and 3 is connected here that is another pair so how many pair are there 1 2 1 2 3 4 so we have four pairs so that is written here p equal to 4 then is there any higher pair there higher pair means i already told you if the two two links are having point or line contact that forms a higher pair here the link 3 and all the links are having surface contact that is or it will form hinges point contact means you just assume the example of a cam and follower when the cam and follower you know, is in operation the gam will be in contact with the follower at a point only similarly if two gears are in mesh uh, you can see there will be at a po only at one point two gears will be at in mesh at a particular time so that is coming under point higher pair so here we can see there are no higher pair or the all are lower pairs or hinges so that is why it is written h equal to zero now you can substitute the these values in this equation that is f equal to 3 n my 3 into n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 4 4 means that p that is 3 into n minus 1 minus 2 p minus h since h is 0 there is no value for that so solving that equation you look at the value as 1 1 means that means this particular mechanism has got one degree of freedom and it can either move in only one direction that is the mechanism has got one degree of freedom that is it's a mechanism which is having single degree of freedom that is the degree of freedom of this particular mechanism so that is first problem then let us see the another problem so this is another problem here also you can see two figures on the left side if we uh, look at the first figure how many links are there so here also one fixer link one fixer link so fixer link is considered as one then the link number two is here then link number three is here so here there are only three links here there are only three links that is n equal to three now how many number of joints are there so here also you can see joints so here there is one joint or pair which is between between one and three here we have one joint between one and two and here we have one joint between two and three how many joints so one two three joints are there that is written as j equal to three here then is there any higher pair or is there any h there no h is there because it is having surface contact all the links are having all the pairs are all joints are having surface contact so there is no higher pair so that is why it is written the higher pair is equal to h equal to zero then substituting in our mobility equation or if, uh, like, la, uh, last equation or mobility equation f equal to 3 into n minus 1 minus 2p again it will become value will become zero what does it mean it means this particular this is not a mechanism it cannot move relative links cannot move relative to each other if we make a mechanism or make an arrangement like this that will become a structure it cannot move that that is when semi equal to zero that means it is a structure or mobility is not possible that is an example of structure it is, since it is having only three links so become a structure 
for any mechanism we need at least four links simple mechanism require at least four links now uh, next problem if we see uh, the next problem this is the next problem here also you can see how many uh, again let us count the number of links and number of pairs so how many links are there so here also one uh, this is fixer one is first link one link then second one is this road connecting road and third one is this cam it is a cam and follower system this is cam this is a follower and these two are fixer links so there are now n equal to three links are there now how many joints are there here only we have joints means lower pairs that is in 3 into n minus 1 2j or 2p a j or corresponds to joints that means lower pairs if it is 2p also that corresponds to joints that means lower pair so how many lower pairs are here here we can see one uh, one and two is having a surface contact then go, so that is a lower pair so first one here also here uh, one and three is having also surface contact because one uh, three and one is hinged together so it is also having surface contact so there are two pairs or two joints that is j equal to two but here you can see one contact between two and three if you observe that you can see that uh, between 2 and 3 that is cam and follower the contact is a point contact uh, the, the red spot indicate the point that only point contact is there if there is a point contact that will become a higher pair so that is why here it is h is written as 1 so we have one higher pair so we have how many links 3 links 2 pairs or 2 joints and 1 higher pair now substitute those values in our mobility equation that is 3 into n minus 1 minus 2p minus h that is 3 into 3 minus 1 minus 2 into 2 minus 1 it will become equation become 1 that is we have got a single degree of freedom mechanism or this particular mechanism has got single degree of freedom that is 1 if it was 2 we can say that it has got 2 degree of freedom since it is 1 it has got only single degree of freedom there is a mechanism with a single degree of freedom so that is the case with the higher pair so hope it is clear to you now let us see one more problem so let us see one more problem so this is the same as that of the previous problem so count the number of links you try to count the number of links by yourself and try to get the answer okay, try whether you are getting this values too so let us just check how many links are there fixer link is considered as one so one fixer link here also one so that is considered as only as one and second link is here that is uh, the uh, connect that is second link this is the third link and fourth link is this cam so here also you have point contact is there actually this particular point is between one and four there is a red dot you can see that is a point contact so that is the point due to the uh, figure is uh, not proper that is why it is not uh, properly showing point contact but actually between one and four it is having a point contact so that is you count the number of links and number of uh, joints and number of higher pairs so if we count it you can see there are n equal to 4 4 links are there number of joints or lower pairs is 3 and higher pair is 1 so substituting that in the equation that is 3 into n minus 1 minus 2p minus h you will get the value as 2 that means this particular mechanism this particular mechanism has got 2 degrees of freedom and it is also a mechanism which is having 2 degree of freedom it can move in 2 directions that is the next problem so this is how you will find out the degree of freedom of any mechanism so if we have a particular mechanism given to you and if you are asked to find out degree of freedom you can use this squished back equations to get the degree of freedom of mechanism so the concept so the concept of uh, degree of freedom i think it is clear to you so this problem are asked usually in university questions what's the degree of freedom what is the concept of degree of freedom and we will give you given a problem to solve the degree of freedom of that particular mechanism so Hope it is clear to you. If you have any doubts or queries, you can ask in the comment section. So, thank you for watching. So, let us uh, see with the next topic in the next class. Thank you.